Hey kids, it's time for a story. Hi, I'm Auntie Myla and I have a story for you again tonight. The name of the story is Luis the Foolish One. We'll see if he's foolish. But my Bible text tonight is 1 John 4, 16. It says, God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. It's so important to love each other. It really is, and to love God supremely. Well, Luis was working in the fields, and he worked so hard. He worked day after day after day. He worked for Mr. Gomez. And he was a hard worker and a good worker. After a long time of working, he got paid. And he had 20 pesos. And he was so excited about working. And so Mr. Gomez said, well, I'm going into the city. If you want to go in with me, I can drop you off in the morning and pick you up in the evening. And we said, oh, that'd be wonderful. Well, that night we the night before, he was talking to his mom and his brother, and they were so excited for him that he got to go to the big city. And they said, what are you going to buy? He said, mother said, be sure and buy a pair of shoes for yourself. Your shoes, look at them. They're just about worn out. And you need another pair of pants. Be sure and buy a good pair of pants for you. And buy a shirt. You need some good clothes. Your clothes are so old and worn out. And uh, so the next morning, Mr. Gomez came by and picked him up. And as they were driving along the city, Mr. Gomez said, Now, don't be a foolish one. And don't spend your money on things you don't need. You need some good shoes for yourself. You need some clothes. Buy things for yourself. And watch the people at the stalls because they try and cheat you. And Louis said, Okay. So Mr. Gomez dropped him off at the market and the little stores were just starting to open. And Mr. Gomez said, I'll be back this evening. And Luis had taken a lunch along, so he was gonna have a good day in town. And he had his money in his pocket. So he went from stall to stall and everyone was trying to show him things. Oh, come look at this and look at this. And he was just looking at all the things. And he stopped this one place that sold beautiful scarves, beautiful scarves. They were had lace and the lady said, look at this. And she tried it on. Now, isn't this beautiful? You should buy this for your mother. And he said, oh, it is pretty, but I'm supposed to buy a pair of shoes myself. He was thinking and some clothes because mom said I really needed it. But the lady said, but look at this scarf. It's a beautiful color. Your mother would look so beautiful in it. And so he thought and thought and she said, it's only eight pesos and you could buy that. And so he thought and thought and thought and he said, okay. And he bought a scarf for his mother for eight pesos. It was beautiful. And so uh, he, she wrapped it up and he gave her the money and he walked on. And he was walking along, walking along, looking at this. And they looked at a shoe store and he thought, oh yeah, I need some shoes. And then he kept going, oh yeah, oh here's some clothes. But then he came to this one store and he was fascinated with it. And um, he was looking and the man was carving beautiful little things. Uh, he was carving uh, donkeys and he was carving all kinds of things out of wood. And they were really beautiful. And he said, oh, my brother, he was thinking my brother Juan would love a carving set because he already carves things. And he pulled out this little um, burrow that uh, he had from his brother. And he said, this is what my brother did. He says, oh, he needs some good carving tools to make sharp lines. And Louis said, do you have any for sale? He said, yes. And he went to the back and he brought out a box of all these carving tools. He said, but it's very expensive. It's um, 20 pesos. How much do you have? And he said, oh, well, 
you know, he had spent eight, so he only had 12 left. He said, I only have 12 pesos. And the man said, well, since you're so big hearted and want to get it for your brother, he says, I'll sell it to you for 12 pesos. And he said, okay. And so he gave him 12, the rest of his money, and he got a kit with all these tools to carve with. And he, the man wrapped it up and he walked. And he walked and walked. He came to a park and he sat down. He thought, I think that I'll eat my lunch. So he got out his lunch and he prayed and thanked Jesus for his lunch. Then he got out his lunch. It was a delicious lunch and he started eating. And then there was a young boy standing and just looking at him and watching him and watching him. And he said, are you hungry? The little boy said, he says, oh, you can have my lunch. And he gave his lunch to Miguel, a little boy. And so then they became really good friends and Miguel followed him around. Well, they played in the park. There was a big fountain there and they played and had fun. At the end of the day, Mr. Gomez came by and he said, goodbye, Miguel, I've got to go. And he got in the truck. So then Mr. Gomez had some questions for him. So what did you buy today? Did you buy yourself a pair of shoes? No. Well, what are you taking home today? He says, the only thing I'm taking home today is an empty stomach. Mr. Gomez says, what? Did, were you a foolish one? He says, yes, I was a foolish one. I didn't buy shoes for myself. I didn't buy clothes for myself. And Mr. Gomez said, well, what did you buy? He said, well, I bought a scarf for my mother. It's a lace scarf and she will love it. And I bought a um, carving, wood carving toolkit for my brother Juan. You know, he's been sick and he hasn't been able to work and, and he can do carving. He said, I have been the foolish one. And Mr. Gomez thought, he said, well, I don't think that you were a foolish one to give your lunch to Miguel and buy something for your mother and your brother. He says, you don't think I was a foolish one? He says, no. And he went home and his mother was so happy with that beautiful scarf. She had never seen anything so beautiful. She went, ah, oh, that's beautiful. Did you buy yourself a pair of shoes? He says, no. And then he showed his brother the carving kit and his brother was so happy. Now, I have a question for you. Was Luis the foolish one? I don't think so. He loved his mother and he loved his brother and he spent all his money on them and he even gave his lunch to Miguel. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I want to have prayer before you go. Dear Lord, please don't let us be selfish and just think of ourselves. Help us to be more like Luis and think of others, those around us that love us. We love you, Lord, with all of our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen. Thank you so much for coming by. I like talking to you. We'll see you. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Come again. See you next time.